Now with Blair, he played here at Palm Bluff Dalloway. Mm -hmm. His senior year, he transferred to Palm Bluff High. He played for um, Coach Bobby Bolden there. And they went in his senior year. They went to the semifinals at the state tournament, um, state playoffs there. Could you just talk about um, Blair and what you've seen from him as far as his maturation since he's been there? Do you well, I, I think number one, he loves the Hogs. You know, that's that's first and foremost. This really stands out, um, and has has really become a great teammate. Um, as I said, he's developed and you know into a to a, a guy that could help us out, help us in some special teams. Um, and, you know, he's gotten a lot of a lot of really good quality reps this spring, uh, as they all have. And, again, they continue to just develop and get better. And that's uh, – but I've been, I've been very pleased with him. Obviously, you had the spring game this past weekend. And, you know, you've had time to go back, kind of review some film and see some things maybe that didn't see as a bang-bang play when it happens. What were you, you know, after going back and reviewing, what are some of your thoughts on things, things you liked and maybe things you need to work on? Well, I, I thought that, uh, you know, after watching it uh, on video, I mean, we're, we're better. We're, we're a much better football team uh, uh, right now than we have been, which is which is good. Um, I'm pleased with uh, uh, the progress that our team is making. Um, we're a long way from where we need to be. We've got to have a great summer. Uh, I said that all along. Is it? You know, the goal of spring ball was not to get you prepared for fall camp. The goal of spring ball was to get you prepared for summer. And we've got to have a huge transformation uh, of this football team through player-led workouts and leadership that takes over. Um, that, uh, and, that, and that's what we expect to have happen over the next, what we call our third and fourth quarter phase. But, uh, you know, those are things we've got to work on. We've got to continue to push. Um, we got to grow. We got to continue to, uh, um, you know, come together more as a team as, as we have been, and uh, I think we're well on track. How, how much did Hicks help you with the transitions in quarterbacks this year? Well, Ben, obviously his his knowledge of the of, of our offense, what we expect of him, uh, the culture. He's played for us for three years. I've been, you know, I was pleased with him. He got in and and really just uh, uh, developed more as a as a you know, earning the respect of his teammates from offensively, defensively, uh, and really take, took the, the young quarterbacks that we have in the room, John Stephen Jones, um, Dalton Hyatt, and uh, you know, Connor Nolan, and Jack Lindsey, and really took those guys and, and, um, and, and, and helped in their training process and getting them all better. And I think he's got a great command and leadership of the team. We're adding Nick Starkle coming in in a few weeks. Um, so we're excited about that. I think that room will continue to improve. Now, uh, Austin Caps, he's another local kid here, probably 20 minutes down the road from Star City. He's been up there about three years. Could you just talk about his, what you've seen from him during the spring and also, you know, just the players around him in the trenches there? You know, moving Austin over last uh, fall camp to from D-line to O-line, um, that you know, you just don't do that and it just happened overnight. You know, it takes a, it takes a while. And watching Austin uh, get better um, through through the season, Get better through fall or spring ball um, was 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 big for him, big for this football team. Uh, got a lot of reps at that left guard position. Uh, we we anticipate him having a great summer. Uh, Ty Clary at center, and you know we've had Colton Jackson at left tackle, Myron Cunningham at left tackle. So I think that there's there's some great people around him, or some really good people around him that'll help bring him along. Uh, he he's like like our entire football team's got to have a great summer. You yeah, obviously you had a very good recruiting class, one of the best in Razorback history. What have you got to do to build on that and, and continue that trend? Well, it was great to get 12 of those guys in. Uh, we had 12 enter in January. And I think that you saw the spring game and you saw a lot of those guys making plays. That, that's, a, that's a big plus. That, that'll put them ahead of the curve as you enter fall camp. I'm really excited about those guys and, you know, excited, equally excited about the older guys that we have on our roster, helping bring those young guys into the culture, welcoming them in, and helping develop them. And so uh, we got to keep recruiting. We got to keep evaluating. Uh, coaches are going to get out on the road next week, and uh, so it'll be for about the next six six weeks. will be some some big time uh, ground to be made up, and um, you know ground to cover. I should say, not made up. We're 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 where we need to be in recruiting right now. We just got to continue to turn our turnover every leaf and or every rock. And, um, you know, we got to just continue to find people that love the hogs. You noted that uh, using spring football to get ready for the summer rather than fall camp. What are your goals for this team over the summer as they go into PRPs and things of that nature? Yeah, we've got to, you know, the vision for our program is, is, is just to continue to get better every day and everything that we do. And I think that that's no different going into the summer. 
Um, we got to continue to grow closer as a team. They understand fundamentally what we're asking them to do. Um, they've got to really transform into that player-led football team that we got to have. Um, and and that's, that's probably the biggest thing I would say is, is the leadership of this football team is going to emerge over the next um, three months. And final question for you, you mentioned leadership. Who are some of your guys, offense, defense, special teams, that have stepped up to be those leaders? Well, you know, defensively is Sosa and Scuda and uh, Camp Curl's done a really good job. He's had a, had a really strong spring. Um, offensively, you know, we've talked about Ben. Ben has really kind of earned the respect uh, of those guys. Um, and on that side of the ball, I think that Colton Jackson's another one's had a really good spring um, that, I'm, that I'm excited about. You know, you, you, you know, Trey Knox has had a, had a great spring as well. He's a true freshman. It's hard to put him in a leadership role. Right. But uh, Mike Woods, um, a Devois Whaley, a uh, Rakeem Boyd, those guys are guys we're going to expect to really step above and beyond uh, and take on some leadership roles. Last question for me here, Coach. Uh, in the secondary back there, losing Santos, one of your team's biggest leaders last year. And, uh, other guys like Liddell over the years. Can you just talk about that that bunch back there and what you know what you expect from them? Well, you know, Camp Curl has is really had a good spring. Um, Joe Fouché is another one that you know, we signed last year. Got a lot of valuable playing time. Uh, had some quality reps this spring. Um, you know, really really uh, um, turned himself into a to a really good player. Again, he's going to have to have a great summer. Miles Mason's another one that had a lot of quality reps. Uh, I think when you look at uh, on the corners, you know, Jacquez, McClellan, uh, Buster Brown, I mean, you know, Monteric is, is those two guys. The, the value that they got last year getting the reps that they got is only going to pay dividends. We saw that this spring. So, uh, and we got some guys coming in. We're, we're expecting to be able to, to develop those guys as well. Thank you. All right.